understand of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Athanasius, who was Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Prepare as we celebrate this Mass this morning. Let us once again recall to mind our sins. Let us be truly sorry for them and ask God to pardon and for strength. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us and He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who raised up the Bishop of St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, Mercifully grant that, rejoicing in his teaching and in his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and raises with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit it was multiplied. Now, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived at Lida. Here he found a man named Ernest, who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Ernest, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose. And all the residents of Lida and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was at Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas or Gazelle. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days, she fell sick and died. And when they had watched her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was dead, sent two men to him, entreating him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went to them. And when he had come, they took him to the upper room. All the widows stood beside him weeping and showing coats and garments, which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then, turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, rise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Joppa. And many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me?
According to John. At that time, many of the disciples of Jesus said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at it, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man? ascending where he was before. It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words that have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you that do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who those were that did not believe and who it was that would betray him. And he said, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples drew back and no longer walked with him. Jesus said to the twelve, Will you also go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. 
gospel matter where na body join as eric mo no one again in a boom when it was jesu in that time i can't talk on our zizig be awkward kai honor back you know jesu no way to go like a guezo that are mine on a whole I got a community or no. Bill Wakule, you're going to have a mere or more pair, no super. Oh, you with your navaka, it's your kind of high. Elini or Lady Henry. A fool of my brother Noria. In order, the metal. Elini, he be here. Or back to know a soul river where one never ever. I just had just to let me the knee in her head. In a he never ever be or no he know that young. Either or that time. On a say, Medata Mawa, your as so do not as a boomer, so mano, a ba or a night. Again, I can remember your name in a four. In a boom boom, we need to bonus or it has sick bericky. If I are a high here, you know, just that a minute to be far. You are, but they hear me. You know, some Peter or that one or a a bianna call mother boo. Who were more ye the devil be. In my ear, in my land, ye who were alone of Hiai, not to serve the gospel of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. With our text today, we've come to the conclusion of our discourse on the bread of life. And it's so interesting how the entire episode ended. We see the disciples of Jesus, those very many persons, very many of the crowds who had followed, followed and accompanied Jesus, who had been calling on him to give them manna, give them bread, complaining, murmuring. They said, this is a hard saying. You know, some other version will say it is intolerable language. It is something for them too difficult for them to swallow. And then what happened? They took offense and they refused to walk with him. So they, they took a walk, you know, in our modern day parlance, they took a walk. They stopped walking with Jesus and they started to leave. That is quite interesting. It is interesting because. It is something that still continues to happen even in the church today. Jesus did not renege in his stance. He did not say, okay, you know what? Let me break it down. No, he continued to teach his message because he knew what he was saying. And that is the position of the church. And that is... The teaching was endured in the Catholic Church down the ages on the Eucharist. That it is the true body and blood of Jesus Christ together with his soul and divinity under the appearances of bread and wine. No matter who asks us, that is the teaching of the church. So if you come and say, oh, how can it be? You know, people ask Catholics, I don't say that is but The Holy Eucharist is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. We say it clearly. And we mean every bit of the words that we say. It is the body and blood of Christ. Jesus says you must eat my body and drink my blood before you can have life in you. If you think it is intolerable language, you want to go, okay. If you think the heart saying you cannot take it, okay. And that is still the stand of the church today. On the Eucharist, it is the body and blood of Jesus. And that is it. It's not something like, no, it is the true body and blood of Jesus Christ. Once the priest pronounces the verbal, the words of uh, consecration, 
over the species. They become the true body and the blood of Jesus. Let's turn to church. So if you think it is hard for you, you are free to take a walk. And the church is not going to change it. And that has been the position of Jesus. But, but for these people, they left. And Jesus asked his disciples, the twelve, the twelve, what about you? They said, <laughs> Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And that is the position of Catholics who are convinced of their faith. So it is a demonstration of faith. Believing in Jesus. Believing in Jesus. You hear his word. You believe it. He says, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. That's what he said. The words that I spoke are spirit and life. He says, the flesh has nothing to offer. So you must listen to the words of Jesus. You know, what to do, apart from the issue of the Eucharist, there are other issues that, that, that make people leave the church because they cannot take it. Yesterday, if you listen to my reflection yesterday, I talked about persons who criticize the church, who, who fight. Even last Sunday, I talked about those who, because of the situation, the, the pandemic, um, the you know, COVID-19, that... Uh, uh, people who are complaining that the church cannot do anything and some are saying, even I've seen the pages of um, uh, the internet, pages of Facebook and all that stuff, persons complaining the church should be closed, the church should be that, should close the church. These are all uh, fight against the church, thinking that Jesus is weak. Oh, you think that pastors have done this, God, that the church should be closed. These are no reason, no good enough reason to close the church. These are all stuff against the church. This is the devil walking, trying to destroy the church. But I tell you, the church will stay put. Church has been there for ages and ages. Those who have the faith in Jesus will stay. You want to take a walk? Take a walk. You feel, oh, this is intolerable. This is hard. This is very hard. The church cannot do anything. You want to take a walk? You are free to take a walk. Jesus asked the disciples today, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? Why did Jesus particularly ask the disciples, those twelve? Because he wanted to make it free for them. He wanted to make it, make, make it clear that no one is coerced, no one is forced to be his disciple, to be his follower. So if you want to be a follower of Jesus, it's something that you have to choose yourself. You want to be a Christian, not be Catholic, you want to continue with the faith. It's something that is very free. No one is going to for force you. So if you feel that because of the pandemic and because of all this problem, it's too difficult. God has no, the church cannot do anything. You want to go? Okay. Jesus is not going to force you to follow him. But remember, he has the message for eternal life. If you believe in him and you have faith in him, you will stay and continue like disciples. They were prepared. They said, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed, and we have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. And it's this an expression of faith by Peter on behalf of the other apostles. Dearly beloved in Christ, it is time for us to express our faith. Stand by what we believe. That Jesus is the Son of God. That he has called us. And we have made what the church calls the fundamental option of Christ. Once we make that fundamental option, every other day's choice will flow according to the fundamental option. The yes is what made for Christ. Nothing, no problem, no difficulty, no trial, no sickness, no disease to stop you from the faith of Christ, the faith of believing in Jesus, the faith of the church, the faith in Eucharist, and the very many other things that the church teaches. You and Pabbi Nuku, Egwena, Onota Malata, Emoi, Eka, no see and I rush to Ebo lele bu suto yeo da chie mi no wo di e mi no chie mi no wo me melo. Ize me da wo me melo. Round de, oku tuwe wo ne reka in Jesu. Na wo me e chie de ka wa ne wo le ka le hen le ka no bu na reba na le. E da wo yo ta ni Jesu ta bi a ke ta no. Go o zizik be, o kwa da ka ho na. Ge o yo de, pa de le gbe no so e de anan no so e. O kwa sa mi e de de me. Round de na, e wa ye wo ne a reka ha. Because 
Me da he. All no tana iro se yeki wo tuwe. Let's see where the men are. O tuwe ibege, o tuwe ayo hande, o we wo yono tasi zikwe. Eh ye, eh mo tani di Christi tayo maru bo reka. Iro se no ena ina. Ye, eh, kaisha no sha ole egbe jeje, biara jeje, no si Jesus Christi. I will be pronounced all the way can't be a new. You don't matter how you can't listen. All they say, no, they say, no, they say, no, they say, no, they say, why are you going to say, no, they 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 say, Jesus, all I know, all the mama, all the way, where they did buy, all the money, where they did buy, all the way, 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 Ida yogi ibuno se oyema ya uwe mo iye ndi debende uwe mo tafu mara wo uwe ono kia nubu sunubla raundo ni radio uwe yero eja na njia uwe ame uwe kama tume tayi nude biza ano biza ano nune no gurani e wone ne kwa yo otwe otwe walwa na otwe walwa na adoni mi anuva na yowa ba ba kwe otwe na apu otwe ina upo kubio kono tayi mo ibuno awe ibu sunubla la ibuno mo. Wedi ye tie ibu we, ame anu bona re, awo kuto kuto ye na we, ibu tie na, ne wudu kuku na no, kuto na yoke na, don yoke, anu bana alu ana ya, ibu tue tie se ye tie, ibu re re we, ibu sumbla na re we shaya se ye tie, baji maru we, mama mo re we, B N, oni Peter B N, dubo ne care, bone ero maya lo, matami Christi, uwe mana re ka, ora ye ge mi ame, ora ye ofu ibu we. Orego hamu, orego balu, Kristi mareka, amererolo, medere kai Jesu, overeka ze, medere kai Jesu, jamererolo do overeka ze, medere kai Jesu, se de 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 de, mapo Jesu, amerolo. Medere kai Jesu, uvare kaze. Medere kai Jesu, ya mere rolo, jo vare kaze. Medere kai Jesu, se de 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 de. Me tosa me, weki ya tosa. Re kai Jesu, si ya de 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 de. Ano ma vi, usom blano mwen ara kouma, ma re kai gai si, ukwe du no soma. No a vibon si Christi ni bihama. Se. Let us pray. We pray for the church of God. We beg the good Lord to come to watch over his church and guide his church. Pray for our Holy Father, Pope. Pray for our bishop, bishops, priests, and religious everywhere. We ask God to strengthen us as we do his work and grant us the graces to be faithful to him to the end of our lives. So this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray. We pray for this home. We ask our God to guide this home. We pray for our family. Jesus, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us not add our individual needs.
Almighty Lord and God, may no one ask us of the proof of the God that we worship, because it shall be manifested in our lives, the way we live, in the way we proclaim the gospel. Give us the strength to do this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your fights. Have mercy on us all with prayer that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who St. Joseph the spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit the co of eternal life and bring the glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the angel of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us into the temptation of the devil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we would have blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in the covenant of your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, and with the Lord, 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 and Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no one that is in the hand of my hand, but praise the Lord, my soul shall be to you. Pray out the soul of the Lord.